and welcome to another episode of I Hate It Here, where myself and Sam spend approximately 90 minutes, this time we'll say 90 minutes, hating the world so you don't have to. Uh, man, we haven't done one of these for a hot minute, but, you know, you've been sick. You've been ill. With I've been wicked sick we've... all my life, mate. That is true, you are wicked <laughs> sick. But I thought... Uh, it was the I Rona. Got, yeah, you thought I got caught. Yeah, I it? thought you got caught. I, nah, I was never I'm really worried because I was always coughing up phlegm and I didn't have a high temp. I was checking my temperature. It's always day. coughing up phlegm. Well, it's supposed always to be a dry cough, cough isn't it? No, what yeah, I'm saying is a COVID no, I, cough should yeah, be dry. Me, I whereas I was me. coughing shit up and I wasn't warm. I was like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll be fine. Yep, well, you know, not fine, but you lived. Yeah. And here we are producing. I mean, I wasn't like super ill. It's just like, you know, when you get flu, just tired now, just fatigued, fancy asleep most of the time. Yeah, well, it's just you on a good day, isn't exactly. It? So, but uh, yeah, first, just before we get into the life and health of Sam and how he's fucked my whole life up uh, after his most recent visit, uh, let's uh, give a shout out to the sponsors. Uh, are we even? Uh, did you put the logos on? You probably oh, didn't. Fuck, didn't no, you? I haven't. But I can do it in uh, post, so it will be. We'll, we'll do it in post, so they're here. They were here yeah. the old time. They were here the old time. Yeah. yeah, but a shout out to the sponsors. You can check them in the night pot anyway. NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash RLS. You get 70% off. I think it's even more than 70% now. They always seem to add on a little percent. One time it was 69. I think they were a bit worried about that. It went to 70. It was like 74. But anyway, sign up. Get yourself a, a great VPN for peanuts. And uh, obviously our new sponsor, Steel Series. Check out the gear. You left at the wrong time, mate. Because I had the fucking care package. You could have you could have took some of it with me. Well, that Prime... Are we supposed to talk about it? Like? Oh, no, no. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, okay. That's that Prime go gaming series is sick. Like, I love Prime gaming. There it is. So I wanted... Oh. Because I play with a wireless mouse nowadays. Like, I thought, oh, I'll try out a wireless one. So I'm not really yeah. vibing the one I got at the moment. Well, you can... You, I, I'm going to keep... I'm, I'm trying them all out and see which one I like. Actually, it was very easy to move across to as well. Like, you know, usually... When have you, you swap mice, it takes a while ergonomically, but like it's, you know, it's a real good shape and it's yeah. big. You know, well, the good thing about Steel Series is it's not like just some random shit company where we're like, oh, everyone yeah. knows Steel Series is good. You know what I mean? You don't have to sell Steel Series, really. Do you? Yeah, that's the they thing. Good mice. They have because I've had mice. offers, I've had like real talk, I've had offers from other hardware companies, you know, and it's like I made that mistake a long time ago um, yeah. where I've had. Let's say not so great sponsors um, with, that make peripherals that no one in their right mind would want to use. <laughs> you know, they're just, just like, do you want to give it a go? Because it's me. Actually, no, Richard. I like you and all that, but I'm not touching that monstrosity. So, uh, which is a phrase I've heard sadly a lot. Uh, but um, yeah, Steel Series, like you say, it's quality, it's great, uh, and I'm super happy about it. So, if you want to get yourself 10% off, it's not even, it's not even like, you know, we're just doing a part ten percent off. You want to get ten percent off anything in the Steel Series store? You just follow the link in the panel on the Twitch channel. You can follow the link in the Nightbot. You type my name with no space, Richard Lewis Bosch, and you're gonna get ten percent off. So support them because they support us. Uh, and there you are. So sponsor reads done. Let's talk about what do I mean? How Sam fucked my whole life up? Well, you know. We've been watching the Clips channel, so I feel comfortable basically turning I Hit Here into what essentially it grew out of, which was the Richard Lewis show as it used to be. And then the Richard Lewis show and I Hit Here sort of became the same thing. Uh, but anyway, what the, in the good old days, Sam, because I've been watching the Clips channel, so the evidence is there, we just used to talk about things yeah. that we'd both see and riff on them for a little bit for a goof. So... I'm going to talk about your most recent visit up here, where, as I said, you fucked my whole life up. Because I hate reality television. I think reality television, like, when we eventually get to the fall of man, right, we're going to yeah. look back, and I genuinely believe this, Yeah. and we're going to say, yeah, that didn't help. But the thing is, right, if you ask me, do I like reality TV, I'd definitely say no. Because when I think of reality TV, well, I to. think of, like, Big Brother, Love Island, like, these kind of shows where, like, people are just getting on TV... I'm watching, like, I'd say it's a lifestyle documentary. I wouldn't call it a reality. It's a lifestyle documentary, I would argue. Right. So what we're talking about here, we're going to start, right? Sam, right? So he was up here a couple of weeks, and in general, 
we spent our days sort of chilled out, what you know, drinking, catching up with Eva La Bam. You know, I'd had a tear for young, mentally sound Bam, and less of a tear for Don Vito. Fuck him, but uh, dead now, of course. Uh, but um, you know, there were uh, there were a couple of nights to watch some movies and that, and then Sam was like, "Listen, you know what my jam is? You know what I like to watch? Uh, I like to watch Dog the Bounty Hunter." So he was watching lots of that, and then. He started watching other reality television or lifestyle documentaries, as we have to say yes. for the purposes of this show. Yeah, okay. Uh, and one of them was My 600 Pound Life, right? Now, the premise of this show, you can probably guess from the title, what, uh, well, actually, it's misleading some, in some aspects uh, because it's about really, really fat people, right? medically i mean it's all unhealthy but like i mean they say 600 pounds but they're not yeah. always truthful like i have seen as low as 550 like which i felt a bit robbed of i t I did sign up for 600 at the end of the day so low as what sure. 550 yeah i mean look if you go south of 600 you shouldn't be on my 600 pound life i'm gonna say no, that no. if no if they lose weight sound but they've got to start the six. That's who. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. There was one who started a five hundred and then went up to six hundred. Like, I'm gonna, dr I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna. You yeah. fucking called me a month early. What have you done? Like, yeah, you got yeah, to ring exactly. up my five hundred pound life. I only do the six hundred pounders. Yeah, no, I'm with you, mate. I'm the same. Um, you know, but I am now. <laughs> I wasn't. I never watched this program <laughs> until a week I'm ago. Same, but, mate. but I am the same now. Yeah, hundred percent. You have turned me. Um, so anyway, basically what the premise of the show is, right? And it's horrific and it's exploitative. So it's classic American television in that sense. And we'll talk about that in a bit as well, because it's like body horror coupled with saucy, yeah. like societal horror. If you just let it sink into your brain, just what you're actually watching and how it's actually being made, it, it terrifies you. It's absolutely grotesque. It's like something, you know, fucking Burgess was writing about or something. Like it's, it's mad that I am watching what this show is, which is... A medically unhealthy individual, usually they're bed bound, right? That that's a big oh, plus. Yeah. Well, once you're that size, usually, yeah. Yeah, and, and so they various they... degrees. I will say some of them can still walk around. Some of them have no movement at all. So mm. you, you're on varying places on that spectrum. So Americans as well. I gotta say, I don't think I don't think they've ever done my six hundred pound Europe. No, <laughs> European might, there might be some Canadians dropped in, but I think it is mostly mm. Americans. Mm. Um, so anyway, they're 600 pounds, right? As the title tells you, apart from that one time they went 550, which I believe is Shit. subject to a class action lawsuit by the Davies family. And, uh, yeah, but they just lie in bed and they talk about, you know, I've got problems, haven't I? That's, they do a series <laughs> of monologues that say I've got problems. But then what happens is the company that runs that show, TLC, ironically, you know, in, uh, used to stand for tender love and care. They they don't give tender love or care. Well, technically, maybe the care part, but I guess you can't just call it care. But anyway, what they do is they pay them fifteen hundred dollars. Right? Is that it? Which Have is... you looked at? I can't remember if, it, if nah, you I looked in a way. Me, I did the That's research. That's it. One time payment of fifteen hundred. They get a they get a one time flat rate fee of fifteen hundred dollars. But they don't get the, all the medical care as well. Yeah, on the proviso that, but if they do get, if then remember, it's not guaranteed you're going to get yeah, it. Yeah. You might even die before you get it. In some of these cases, as we'll talk about, right? Uh, it's twenty thousand to thirty thousand dollars for the gastric brand from that doctor now guy. So wait, they have to pay for that. No, 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 they cover oh, that. Okay, okay, I was going to save it. All right, yeah. But just to lay it all out for you, it's horrifically exploitative television taking obese shut-ins that are staring into the abyss of potential yeah. death, paying them $1,500, ritualistically humiliating them on TV. And, when, and I mean that. I watched one, well, I say we watched one, me and Sam, where a woman just, she couldn't get to the toilet anymore, so she's just shitting in her living room, like it's Wrexham. <laughs> like, literally, they had to make a special toilet just by the bed. Like, and, and, and it's like, it you don't rough. have to, you don't have to fucking show us that. But... You don't have to show us that bit. You don't have to show us that bit. She's getting $1,500, and it's just her face 
while she's having a dump in her living room in a special custom-made toilet, right? While she's doing a monologue going, I just want to get the surgery. Yeah, you probably do at this point, yeah. I'm with you. So it is horrific and exploitative. It reminds but... me as well, like, do you remember Embarrassing Bodies in the UK? Well, oh, basically, yeah, was... the premise oh, was man. you'd have something weird. But the thing is, because they're like the way the NHS works, if you've got something like that, but it isn't ailing you, you're going to yeah. be really low on the list because we got guns, we need arts. You know what I mean? We got mm. things that are actually mm. a danger in life, so naturally get yeah. pushed on the exactly. bottom. Exactly. So, so the, basically, the, the way that is works you is, the yeah, queue. yeah. So it's like, yeah. oh, we'll do our right now for free, but you have got to show everyone who freak show. Like it's like it is really yeah. bad. Like oh yeah, no, it's that? really you're desperate real. for a bypass. Yeah, yeah, no bother, bro. I've got to film you shitting in the living room. It's like ah, oh, yeah. Man. Oh no! I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't even get me started on embarrassing bodies because I, I, I think I might even have wrote an article about that at the time because I used to work for a sort of, you know, online magazine when that was highly popular. And me and the missus used to fucking watch that, and I'd just be like, you know, because when it's embarrassing bodies, what they wanted was it wasn't just like oh, I've got like a mole on my face that looks yeah, a bit yeah. like Anders or something like that, right? It was <laughs> don't know what that Are means. You kidding me, but... mole? <laughs> just inhuman right um but it but it was like it was like the worst shit it was like you know somebody had come in and it'd be like you know they they had a zigzaggy knob or they had like a giant growth that yeah, had, yeah. that was that, you know coming out their ass and it covered the hoop and all you know and it was horrific you're just like holy shit or you know someone with like lizard scales all over the face like that girl who gets burnt in game of thrones and you know shit like that right but real like yeah. And um, and it was horrible, and and you know they're really sad about it, obviously, because no one wants to be medically grotesque. You can, yeah, you can handle, the thing is, you right, can handle I a little bit of grotesque. If they had just you, but... blurred their face, the show is pretty all right because you get to learn about some weird medical problems. The person doesn't have to face the ridicule. They jump the queue and get it solved, and the doctor yeah. learns a little bit more about something that he probably won't see every once in three years or whatever. So all yeah. you have to do is blow the face and it's positive overall, but no, the shame must be included. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it's it's awful. So I, I had a problem with that. And again, it was a similar deal. Like basically the, the gimmick is you jump, you jump the NHS queue like what the fuck is this yeah and you know, for a lot excuse... of them it's like specialist surgeries right so it's like you couldn't yeah. even get it done on the nhs not as well yeah, as probably, they're yeah. gonna do it you know and, and i think the thing i always hated as well was there would always be a doctor like really feigning concern and being a bit too yeah. you know they give the game away oh, it's horrible. Going, yeah yes yes your face is absolutely grotesque yes but don't worry i will be shaving parts of it off on camera in a moment yeah yeah, yeah you are disgusting yeah you know, and it's just like fucking hell, you know. But anyway, back to my six hundred pound life, right? Sort of the same thing, but with with uh, uh, obesity. And Sam suggested, "Do you want to put this on?" And I said, "No, get out my house." But he he wore me down, uh, and uh, I said, "All right then, let's do it." And so we were scrolling through, and, we were and and how many seasons of this is there? Like twelve, nine, ten. Yeah. Like, trust me, this is popular. People like watching the struggles of fat people being Plus bribed possibly. by a network television you know and also as well there's spin-offs now oh yeah my, where are my they thousand now? pound yeah. life and where are they now yeah my 600 my 600 pound life survivors like yeah. fucking hell you know which of course leads you to the even more despairing version that yeah. Somebody what's the other series that. yeah yeah what's the other series my 600 pound life Funeral edition, yeah, exactly. Like so, you know, just a load of people. <laughs> anyway, no, shouldn't laugh. But let's move on to the comedy bit. So we were watching this, and Sam goes, "Oh, this will be a good episode." It's in Atlanta, right? So it's based in Atlanta. Obviously, I used to live in Atlanta. Sam came out and stayed in Atlanta when I was doing E League. Sam was living out there at his own place. He was working because obviously the company he worked for was a joint venture with E League. So we were having a time of our lives both out in Atlanta. Great city, love it. Missed that place. We had a load of good times out there. You know, that's where Sam got the nickname Belushi. <laughs> you know, we've all had a great. drink. We've all had a drink. Great times, classic times in our lives that when we're old men uh we'll look back on so i was like yeah all right then that's a good entry level and you know we'll, we'll watch that and lo and behold it's a guy called federick who lives in a part of atlanta i actually know and i was like oh god that's a real poor part of atlanta actually so these these people are obviously definitely unable to afford you know the surgery now 
He was, I think, starting, didn't, wasn't he 687 at the start of the show? I'm not sure, but he was, he definitely passed the threshold. There was no fake advertising on Frederick. Like, I'll give him that. Yeah. And, and, and so, slowly but surely, what happens in this episode, it dawns on me that this is the worst episode they've ever made. It, it, it's my yeah. first. It's my introduction. It got worse. I'll give you that, like. Yeah, oh, but. So, here's the problem. First of all, Frederick is 687 pounds. Half of that is oh, a, a growth on his leg. Which is, an, a, a, like, I've seen quite a lot of these shows. That's a regular occurrence. But I don't know if it's something to do with the skin in the legs. Perhaps it's prone to, like, rupturing, so you get these massive lumps. But yeah. the, I can't remember what they're called. Like, something, theotoma, something like that. Yeah, but yeah, it's basically yeah. just a huge, like, fluid and fat-filled sack that he's dragging like an, a we giant call, we extra call testicle. Them Sam, bro. <laughs> yeah, a giant extra <laughs> testicle, but no, it was unreal. So you don't notice it at first because he's on the bed and he sat down and then he gets up for a walk and I'm like, hang on a minute, Sam. Like, why is he why is he holding a beach ball between his knees? Like, and he's not. Like it's like oh, yeah, that's, that's a fat sack at his bad Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Sam. <laughs> expert. <laughs> Expert on the show, quick as a flash. Oh no, they do get them though. Though they, the fat people, they do get them. that's just a sack full of full of fluids and fat. That is, don't worry about that, Rich. I'm like fucking hell. <laughs> so the first thing is, like, cut that off. There's your weight yeah. problem solved, isn't it? But no, but this they, is they, that's they... What, this is how they get them right. Because if you go to a regular doctor, think about it, right? You're a doctor in America. You're just churning out patients for money, right? And you see that, you're like, "Fuck up!" But it ain't worth the headache. God forbid I cut that open, and he dies. You know what I mean? Six hundred yeah. pounds. I'm gonna have to have a reinforced stretcher, reinforced. You know what I mean? They're like, "Fuck up!" But nah, nah, nah. We can't do it. It's unsafe. Yeah. So they take him to the specialist doctor. You think, right? Sound. This guy knows how to do it. And even this boy cut one cut off the fucking fat oh, sack no. off his leg, but no. No, that's the thing. Even the specialist doctor was like, if I cut that fat sack off his leg, he might fall below 600 pounds. And yeah. then Sam's going to write another complaint to the fucking Mate, it was TLC even worse, HQ. Right. So for his first meeting, they told him he needs to lose 100 pounds, right? Before they consider yeah. putting the, oh, the band know, on, right? I know. The weight Shot of the off, lump then. is 100 pounds. They literally weighed it. They said the lump yeah. is 100 pounds. Yeah. What? They're all found the job done. What do you mean? Completed yeah. it already. Yeah, they wouldn't cut it off so he could cheat on the food. So the first part of the show is mental because it's set like it's very formulaic. I know formulaic TV is popular with people. That's why House was yeah. popular. It's the same thing every week. And basically, what they do is they just film them doing their normal habits. Which, by the way, during this time, I would even go so far as to say there's a little bit of enablism going on, but for the sake of the cameras. But yeah. whatever, right? You know, no one's saying, look, mate. <laughs> We're like part of this show is we're gonna get you the weight loss surgery, but you're gonna have to lose weight prior to it, or your heart's just gonna pop. Like, you know, it's just like fucking, <laughs> you're just gonna die on the table. So, me, I know we're here to film you, but maybe start now. You know, but no, yeah, they don't but, say yeah, that. Yeah, they purposely do that. Yeah, exactly. They yeah, want them. They if don't anything, say I bet they're encouraging them. I bet they're like, totally. oh, by the way, we're paying for food today because obviously, you know, we're filming. So any food you order, we will pay for. I bet they do something like yeah, that. Yeah, totally, totally. And so what you end up doing is you end up watching these people who are eating themselves to death, eating themselves to death. <laughs> like that's the that's the first like third of the show every time, and they're all doing monologues while they're eating. You know, in out of breath voices like, I just love eating. Yeah, it's tragic. Weird foods, just the only thing. And you're like, oh, fuck, you know. Like, I know it's there were a couple of episodes me. I was legitimately fucking depressed. I was looking over oh, at Sam, sad, and Sam, Sam's there, big grin on his face. It's all right, but he gets the band. I'm like, yeah, but mate. Exactly. It's only because I knew the end of it. It's like, all right, but you lose weight, don't you? He's going he's gonna to be sound. I'll also add as well, like, I'll tell you this, if you, if none of you guys in the chat have watched this, uh, I've been on keto since, um, I'm, 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 yeah, it's a motivator for sure, <laughs> you, three or four episodes of this, and you'll just be like, do I really need that midnight sandwich? Nah, you don't, but you fucking don't. I don't want a third testicle that's as big as my torso. <laughs> Mate, I never I, needed that in my life. The other thing with our show is, remember when we watched a dog about the internet, and I told you I know what's going to happen based on the music because I've watched it so many times. So if you showed me a dog the bounty hunter clip with no video, right, and just played the music, I could probably with 90% accuracy tell you either they found the guy, they found, they've seen the guy, but they didn't catch the guy, or they mm. didn't find the guy at all. 
you could tell oh, yeah, by like yeah. the music and it's the yeah. same on this 600 pound life you could tell by the way they frame it this is going to end bad or this is going to be this is going to be a redemption act because when it's a redemption act you could tell they start to like show more of him putting in effort and they'll show him like throwing food into the bin that's a classic shot on that show whenever they make a redemption act they always put in the shot of him like throwing away all the old food he's like i sound he's fine Someone in the chat trying to be smart. Is it is it keto incompatible with alcohol? Wrong. And this is a Mitchell Just Ultra. Get right alcohol. Which, but yeah, which by the way, low carb, low calorie beer. I may as well be drinking my own piss running yeah, through a soda gross. stream. But I'm trying to trick my brain into thinking I'm having a good time. So is that all right with you? Can I do that? Is that all right? Thanks. Now back to people who are eating themselves to death. So anyway, I'm watching this show with Federick. And, mate, we're going to show you a scene just to set it up. Unfortunately, we can't find any of the other scenes. This is like the little teaser TLC put on YouTube, right, to get you to watch the episode, which, by the way, I strongly advise that you do. Uh, but it's it, it, right. Where he lives, he gets up early to go and visit the ice cream man. Ice cream's his big thing. He fucking loves, loves ice, cream, ice cream. Oh, and he really does love it, like. And so there's this one ice cream man who lives in this, like, you know, poor part of Atlanta, too. And basically, Federick is just putting his kids through school. Like, like it's yeah, all... Yeah. It, this is horrific symbiosis. But, because he goes out and he orders enough ice cream for a fucking orphanage, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and the guy's face is just... I'm killing this man, but, yeah, I, the need, but I need the him, money. I need the money, Sam. I can't say no to the money. Because this was like near the start of the program. So we were like, oh, this is a good start. Because he did like the comedy bit. Like when you order a restaurant, you order a load of things. Like, what do you guys want? He's like, I'll have 16 of these, yeah. 12 of these, uh, yeah. another one of those. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah. It, it's it, it's un, unreasonable. Uh Fuck it, let's, let's just play it. Make sure you don't show me this top off, though. I'm terrified of that. Not in real life, I mean, because of Twitch rules. I mean, it's barely my angle at any point, but I have skipped the part. Yeah, yeah, belly's rest. fine. Belly's fine. I'm worried about I'm the starting at male 15 boot. seconds, so if you want to go there, and we'll 3, 2, 1. Oh, okay, yeah, let me... Oh, I need the clip, actually. That's right linked there. in the Discord. Yeah, I got it, I got it. It's just... It's the ice cream man one. <laughs> <laughs> no! I can't believe the things that are in there. Uh, where is it, Matt? Yeah, oh, there he is, right, yeah, it's above, above the guy smoking, right, yeah. Yeah, he, he's got a t-shirt on at 15, that's good. Yeah, go right. to 15 seconds, you ready? I'm there, I'm there, yeah, right, three, three, one, two, one, go. Open up a account, somebody to get something off the truck every day. I would say when the ice cream man pulls up, it's the best part of my day. Like, imagine the camera crew, because right? you know they're it's grinning when they feel outside. it's like, oh, this is good TV. And that's my exercise for the day. Hey, what can I get for you today? Please, what's going on? All right. Let me get three sodas. Three sodas? Two bags of hot fun, yes. Um, bag hot fun, yes. Another butter. Not getting butt. Right. Oh, oh you can tell. I know, that's what I mean. Look, he just goes look, like, at, look at his face going, right. you can't be doing oh, this another, again, another mate. I'm playing another buddy. Okay. Like, I bet he all thought, right. oh, look, the TV minute. cruise, yeah, it's going to be the big day. The Idrix is going to start losing weight. Then he's favorites. like, no, no. no all righty. <laughs> Make sure you're all right now. Appreciate you. All right. He even brings so it up to him. my breakfast. Oh. With ice cream. And it starts to make my day get better at that point. It's not though, but it's not the way. The ice there, cream Jeff. and the snacks. Are Don't worry, Chad. You, I, once again, you it's could tell good. by the music, hungry, the redemption arc is coming. Just wait. You know. Listen to the I music, not the sadness. So what I like to get for my first meal is pizza, usually. I like pizza a lot, and I eat a lot of pizza. He, he, he's so got it picking out, I like. Some of the I like pizza, so, so I, I eat, eat a lot it. of pizza. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Nailed it. This swollen. Oh, come on, no, man. Are we watching? Is that it? Yeah, I'll probably turn it off there, but before this he has is, a fucking... this, the pizza's coming. Like, oh, this yeah, is true, the pizza true, in the true. wings. This is the pizza. Like. Like, again, you know, I guarantee the fucking TV crew paid for this shit, but. 
I reckon it's his fifteen hundred dollars, mate. Straight gone, like. Look at that, mate! That's I a party! Know, That's a party, though! It's That's a party, it's mate! About, like, like someone's got to just say something, like... There we go. Like, man. he's having a party by himself, but... TLC, but... TLC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. $10 been kept. But anyway, so... That's the setup for the episode, uh, which you can go and watch. Uh, if you, I, I strongly urge you watch it. It'll change your life. It changed mine. Um, but here's the problem. Uh, fuck. It becomes, I'm trying to phrase this delicately. Wait, the chat it just does... dropped the fucking foods here, lads. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. We've all done it, mate. I've, done here, that I've been back in the UK, mate. Don't they? Food's here, lad. <laughs> Food's here, lad. Just living alone. Food's here, lad. They all know. the delivery drivers. No, don't. But anyway, so, uh, anyway, I'm trying to phrase this delicately, Sam. So it does become very clear over the yeah. course of the episode that Federick is educationally sub -nerd. Well, it's very clear that the TV is, uh, station is just taking advantage of this whole yes. family, but, like, yeah. yeah. They go to the doctor's appointment, and then you're just like, oh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so let's let's go over some of the bits where it becomes clear that what this TV company has done in putting this guy on TV is du doubly sick to what their normal output would be. Right. So... He goes to the doctor, and the doctor says, Doctor Now, right? Who's like some old fucking crazy looking guy. Miserable yeah. doctor. He's got a gold plate and stethoscope, yeah. this guy, hasn't he? With He's fully on dumped. it, but with yeah. diamonds. A gold plate and stethoscope with diamonds on it, right? And he's getting paid all this money by this TV company to exploit these people who get $1,500. And he's coming out like all blinged up, old Not man. Like Bobby George, but. Oh, mate, the drip on him is outrageous, right? And he comes in and he says, right, you know, yeah. Oh, and what's really bad as well is, right, the walk to the first consult consultancy. Because Feder Federick's got a massive growth on his leg and his leg swells up when he walks. So it gets big, it gets full of fluids. So the strain, just the walk into the doctor's office makes his eye pop. Like Joe Biden's, he has it's an eye real, pop. Man. Oh, just all, all the blood vessels just burst in one of his eyes. Like, brilliant. Like, off to a fucking winning start here, boys. So he sat there talking, and Dr. Now was like, yes, uh, we will be happy to perform a, a surgery on you, but uh, you must show us that you can lose weight. First of all, here is a diet pack. Right, here is a Read diet it pack. carefully. Read it and uh, follow it. And then I'll call you back in a month to see how much weight you've lost. And so they do the consultancy on on TV. And it's done via Skype because Dr. Now obviously hasn't moved to Discord <laughs> for all his gold plate. Instead, he should have, should have had my fans. He wouldn't have had a choice. Uh, although looking back on the clips, it is mad annoying how the Skype does keep cutting us out. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> We won't go down that road. We're all, we've achieved sound now, so that's good. But anyway, he's, he's doing it on a laptop on on Zoom, and the they say like, "How's it been going?" And he goes, oh, "I've lost a bit of weight. He'd lost like twenty four pounds at this point, or something. Not enough for the surgery, but you know, he he he, he you know, from but he should have lost a lot more. But yeah, like but if you cut that growth blues. off his leg, yeah. you're checking him in that day. But whatever, right? And he sits there. And the doctor goes, so tell me about your diet. How many times are you eating a day? Three, like it says. And he goes, no, I'm not eating three. I'm eating two, right? And uh, I miss one meal, and I have an apple or an orange. And the doctor's face, mate, he's fucking furious. Because I assume he's basically on keto. It's a low-carb diet. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the opposite. Yeah. I would have rather had like three steaks. All of that. It's yeah. the sugar that gets you. We yeah, all know exactly. it now. For years, we were told carbs are fine, sugars are fine, it's the fats, and then now it's... Oh, whoopsie. Our bad. Right? But anyway, whatever. So, 
the doctor is furious and he looks at him and he goes, I thought you read the guide. And the guide said, don't eat fruit. And, and Federick goes, I didn't eat fruit. And he goes, you just told me you had an apple or an orange. And, and Federick and his mother go, yeah. I thought fruit was grapes. Like once that happened, it was hilarious when it came up. It was like, this ain't funny to watch anymore, but this isn't funny no more, but. And I'm like, Sam, this guy's got educational issues and they're doing this to him on fucking television. And Sam's like going, no, nah, but listen to the music, but there's a yeah, redemption. he's coming arc. back. This where's, isn't... yeah, where's the redemption arc for the TV company that have done this? Oh, they're evil for life, like, but at least Cedric will lose a bit of weight, for sure. And then, right, when they realise, or rather, when they realise we're going to realise, they bring in another woman who seems to be better at talking to people with those kind of issues and explaining things. So they nail the fruit thing. But she also comes in and starts talking about like how just because something's called lemonade yeah. doesn't mean it's a healthy fruit juice. Yeah. And she produces a bag of sugar and goes, is this much sugar in lemonade? And Federick's going, sugar in lemonade, like whatever next, yeah. you know, and I'm going, oh my well, mate, God. Don't forget the little birdie, miss. Yeah, oh, I'm getting to it, mate. And then she, she says, right? Oh, uh, a little birdie told me that you do like lemonade. And his mind... <laughs> fuck, you know, this so is dark. Sad, isn't it? I know. This. His mind thought a bird had actually talked to, like, to her. He did know, like, Carl Pilkerton, where, like, you, yeah. you, like when someone... I think Carl Pilkerton, you heard the term mammoth. And he thought it was mm. half man, half moth. Like he looked yeah. at his mother, like a talking fucking bird. Man. Yeah, exactly. So she says, "A little bird told me," and he just turns and goes, I "Like he can't full believe it." Up, he, like, yeah, pocket. he's like, "Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, beyond." And I'm just like, "Oh Sam, please, like, please make this go away, like, because it's in my brain now." <laughs> and so anyway, right. The doctor says to him, listen, till we get a handle on, you know, our fruit, we're going to have to fucking wait. And so he's so desperate to get the surgery, they relocate to, like, Texas where it's at. Yeah, yeah. And so they load him up in a car. Like, he's on the back seat for three days in this car. And, you know, they're feeding him, like, cheeseburgers and stuff because all they can get from stations to drive him down to basically relocate so we can get in and out of the doctors and in the halfway point of the show it's like it's like some tragic road trip diary yeah like the last of us <laughs> but, but for a fucking a beast man and he's going i'm in so much pain and i can't move and then my mother brings in a cheeseburger and it's okay for a little while. <laughs> but I can't, I can't, <laughs> I like, know. I fucking can't, Sam. This is like the most depressing shit I've ever fucking seen. And anyway, they get, the, it does have a happy ending, I suppose. They get him down there. They, uh, they, they get him the, uh, they get him fully uh, sorted out. Hello, they get him approved for the surgery. Oh, um, and uh, in the end, he does have the surgery, and it is successful. Now, this is where it takes another little dark turn, though. So even after the happy ending, I was going, oh, thank God, Sam, because if he died, mate, uh, uh, you're out my house, and I'm, I'm going to bed. Like, if you just showed me that, if he'd actually been one of the ones that died, that would have just been too I much. Tell me, it, totally the music, the music. Right yeah, true, the music was it. But anyway, it takes another dark turn, because he's lost all the weight, and he's feeling good about himself, and he got an Instagram and stuff. And it's stipulated in the contract they sign that they are not allowed in their own time to show the uh, progress they've made. TLC on you now. Can't even take pictures of yourself, mate. 
can't even show your own selfies on social media in case they want to do a follow-up show. I think the only thing is, like, you can show his head, so he can show above the shoulders, that's mm. it. You can't show anything else. You're you not show allowed to show your own body. So you don't even get the benefit of being able to go, look, hey, I lost all this weight. Please compliment me so I get the dopamine hit from that and not fucking Domino's Mate, pizza. I swear to God, blurred it's out. because of them delaying him being able to show himself and get all the gra like get everyone to congratulate him if that somehow sends him tumbling back down he gains all the weight like we need to fucking oh that, mate i'll be, i'll be doing it like i'll be doing it mate richard it'll just all be our work but all he One wants is a few cheers like LT, like it'll be mm. so it was absolutely shocking absolutely shocking i couldn't believe what i was saying now i'll also just talk a little bit about another episode because I got a taste for it then. Yeah. And very much like the people in the show, I just wasn't able to control myself. And also, I did check to see which ones died because I, I only wanted to watch the ones with an happy ending. No, I know. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to see the, the ones where the they come dice back. dice you roll every time you watch an episode of this, though. The dice you're rolling. Am I watching a man die today? Oh, yeah, well, oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh am I? Oh, yeah. So I literally what, Googled, like, the ones where they did lose the weight and didn't die. So I was like, okay, we can watch this. It's going to be horrible, but at least we know they came out the other side and they're fine. So it isn't as, it doesn't feel as gross. So anyway... We, uh, we, we, we also watched one with a woman in it, uh, the one I talked about earlier where she's doing the squatty potty in her fucking living room. And this one wasn't as sad. It started out sad, right? Because mm. she's talking about, again, how she used to be the cool, like, you know, chubby goth chick when she was younger and then somehow it got out of control. And when she starts on day one of the t episode... She's like 700 and, you know, what was it? 790 pounds, right? Yeah. Big. And she keeps saying, like, I really want to lose this weight uh, because I've got a daughter and, you know, I'm scared of dying and leaving her behind. I lost my mother. I know it's a, how impactful it can be. And so I'm going, okay, fair enough. I'm on board with this chick. She seemed cool, funny, but man, man alive. So there's a scene where she's just having palps, like her, her blood pressure and heart's just going off the charts. So she goes to a uh, hospital, and she's so big. Oh, mate, that... I was going to say, let's not make yeah. it seem like it, she just went to the hospital. Oh, no, 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 no. She was yeah. on the first floor, one floor yeah. up in, like, an apartment building. So they had to see send up a team of boys to, like, try the and boys. drag her down the stairs. But obviously yeah. getting to the stairs, carrying someone down the stairs are, like, 800 pounds is pretty much impossible. Yeah. Like They sent got... in some of the biggest, gnarliest, hardest paramedics. Like, you wouldn't have blinked twice if it was a cage fight. <laughs> like, yeah. Because they had to carry her. was there, uh, like, fucking... Oh, believe it. Like, big show was carrying her. The, there's one guy holding her while she's, like, leaning all of her body weight to, like, try and get down the stairs by propulsion, I think, is a preferred method. And his veins in his body. I'm like, <laughs> fucking hell. You know, he's the hardest cunt in the entire paramedic service, and he's like, all right, in your own time, darling. Even Hulk Hogan was fucking scared of him, mate. You would have caught oh, him believe, like, ear like, cup in round there. Believe it. So anyway, they get her into hospital, right? And I'm like, okay, now, the, well, that's good news. She didn't die. No, There was no damage to her heart besides... Yeah. The obvious. And it's like a and, drug addict going to prison. It's like it's forced rehab. So at least now yeah, you have to wait for Yeah, exactly. Well like, you're, you're sad it's brought them to that point, but you you think at least now the healing can yeah. begin, right? So, unfortunately, <laughs> this is just utter madness. They took her up in her hospital bed, right? They took her up and they go, okay, like, you know, uh, the, you, the we're going to keep monitoring your heart and we're going to put you on a diet and stuff for weight loss. We'll be bringing you food. Yeah. And then, for reasons that I can't figure out, there's, they slide her a bunch of takeaway menus. Well, yeah, because, right, this hospital like, is, I don't think this is a thing in America, but apparently it is. They had like a room service, but like a hotel room service. Like you could order a variety of Yeah, they of do shit, do that like, in some private hospitals, like. But yeah, but it it was literally like better than hotels, like fucking preambulate, yeah. burgers, steak, like yeah. literally anything you want. Yeah. And also Pe oh, I guess people fight for them contracts in yeah. America, mate. Yeah. So uh so anyway. 
while she's in hospital, I've been gone in with heart problems, weighing 790 pounds. <laughs> she is just eating. And now she feels comfortable eating because she's got the good good. She's got the defibrillator yeah. there. She's Anything got the machines the there. She's got a drip going on, oxygen up her nose. She gained 140 <laughs> pounds in the hospital. In the hospital. <laughs> They just, yeah, they just kept taking her food in. They just kept taking her food in. She's just having McDonald's in. The nurses are just there checking the machines. Is no one going to stop this? Is no one going to stop this? And nobody did. And obviously, the people who were like saying, you've got to lose weight or you are going to die and we can't do the surgery on you that will stop you from dying because you will die during the surgery. They keep saying, you've got to lose the weight. So they kick her out of hospital, like, after six weeks of this. Fucking Hulk Hogan, the paramedics, back. This yeah, time, mate. Pushing he her thought up. it was hard stopping her dropping down the stairs. He had to push her back up, like, you know. He gets her in. This is when it all just goes to, to shit. She's First thing she does when she gets home, she was going, oh, that hospital food didn't agree with me. She orders, like, a giant fucking kebab. All the trimmings, yeah. cheeseburger, fucking wings on the side. I'm like, hang on now. Sam, am I inhuman? Or have I, have I, like, am I, I'm starting to lose a bit of sympathy. I'm not going to lie. Exactly. That's what, I, that's what the show gets you, right? Because you watch one like that, yeah. like, this is cruel. This is fucking mm. horrible. How are they doing this to people? This poor guy. And then he watched one like that. I was like, this woman's just a daft bitch. But like, well, I ain't going to feel bad for her. Like, you just ordered McDonald's in fucking hospital after you had an heart yeah. attack. Like, yeah, I know, it is bad. Oh, like, context, man, so I've got uh, context, obviously, is... Nothing again. Obviously, it's such. We're not stating on. Oh fat no, people. I am kind of against it. Like, if yeah. you're going to order McDonald's in hospital, I am. Yeah, against you can't it. do that after an heart attack. That's and, the piss, and the like. thing is, she got a kid. Like, if she was on her own, whatever. Yeah. If you want to kill yourself and you eat yourself, but you were just saying, oh, oh you don't want to leave your daughter behind. You feel really bad. Yeah, so order McDonald's when your heart's palping. And then, a daughter was trying to stop her eating the food, and then she was going, "You don't know what it's like," you know. And it was like, and she was getting like really aggro with the daughter who was trying to help her. Daughter moved her boyfriend in. Well, again, yeah. Up and, and down they're both the just in the same party. room while she's shitting in the room. They're both just sat there. Yeah. Like, mm. Oh, it was rough. It was, and I was just like, this is a nightmare, Sam. And get this for the twist. In the end, she just kept gaining weight, was knocking on the door a thousand pounds. And so the, the doctors were just like, fuck it. We're going to gonna have to do it. Because you're going to eat yeah, yourself we're just, death. We're just going to have to do the surgery. Right? And she had the audacity to go, see, I knew the doctors were lying about me needing to lose weight. I'm fine. I'm like, what do you mean? They just accepted that if they, they said left you're going it, to die was, anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Might as yeah, well. yeah. So, that one left me a bit perplexed. But, man, what a show. What a mad show. Only an American mind could come up with this show. I thought, because I've seen some crazy reality TV shows down the years. I remember Life when I was at university. Sorry. Because some crazy lifestyle documentaries down the years. Let me know if you think this one's a lifestyle documentary. By the <laughs> way, so. uh, right? I even studied this one at university doing my incredibly educational media degree. Uh, cheaters. Right, yeah, remember, yeah. The American remember Cheaters? Show, seen that, yeah. Where it was literally a guy who I think later got caught having cheated on his wife, but whatever. <laughs> um, classic humans. Uh, but uh, it basically the premise was like he would, they would hire private detectives who yeah, follow yeah. around the person you suspect of cheating. He'd sit you down, pretend he cares, show your pictures of like your husband getting a nosh <laughs> that they took. And go, I know this must be horrible for you. If you look at the zoom lens here, you can see he actually yeah. did blow his beans. Well, mate, that was cancelled after someone oh. killed someone, didn't he? Yeah, well, it was all, mate, it was always flirting with danger. It was always a punch up, but a lot of them were yeah. just Jerry Springer slap fights, so it didn't really matter. And then I think they even faked a stabbing. They faked it, I think. What, uh, what I started to remember, it's a long time ago. But uh, basically, the host like went on a fishing boat and went, "We got you cheating. What are you gonna say about it?" And because obviously he had like one of them knives for cutting the fish, he goes, "Get the fuck out, motherfucker!" And like, the guy's like, "Ah, <laughs> full Peter Griffin, full like. Peter Griffin." Like, and then I think they, it turned out they faked it. Like, Just... it's mental. Yeah.
That's is that a reality TV nah, show or a lifestyle? reality TV show because there's no lifestyle following that. That's okay. definitely reality TV. Mate, cheating is a lifestyle in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, but nah. Donate the player. Nah. Reality TV, man. All right. So then, the other thing uh, that uh, we got watching, because by this point, Sam had took me into a dark and terrible place <laughs> of trying to watch the worst reality TV show imaginable. Oh, sorry, the worst lifestyle documentary yeah. imaginable. And he said, have you seen that 90 Day Fiance? And I went, Sam, this is too much now. You you've insulted me. You've insulted my family. And he said, oh, no, you'll love it, but there's a freak. In it. <laughs> <laughs> there's an absolute freak. There's a freak with no neck. Yeah. yeah, you said there's a freak in it who puts mayonnaise in his hair. And I was going, Sam, mate, you're, you, you're lay off the pipe. Like, you're fucking, you're <laughs> out of control. Like, And he went, no, no, I swear, he's got no neck. He looks like Ram Man. And he puts mayonnaise in his hair and he, he gets dumped by his mail order bride. I'm going, Sam, can't be real. Show it to me. And show it to me, he did. And I couldn't believe it. So what's, what's the fella's name? Ed. Since he's your mate. Ed. Mate, everyone I, that knows Ed, like we are yeah. related to Ed, but Ed is a classic. Yeah. Well, no, nah, but I've never seen him. I know, that's what I mean. You've been out of the lifestyle documentary. I know, I just, I'd resist. I don't want that in my brain. Right? So it's I will say it's appropriate he's called Ed because that's all that's he all is. he is, yeah. He is yeah, 90% exactly. so. Ed. So go on then, let's just show him this. The 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 mayonnaise in the hair bit, but like, right. hang on, at the start he's in a robe, so just like go oh, in a few days. I, don't I think he's gonna to be in the robe, mate. Oh, he is that's fine, but he's in a kimono. That's exactly. He's only really showing a bit of barely, like. Yeah, if you go from fifteen to, yeah, fifteen. Yeah, 15 again. 15, should okay. do it. Yeah. All right. I'm just making sure. Is he topless in any of the points? No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, 15. All right. Three, two, one, go. Rose, to marry me. Mate, that's not even a little bit of mayo, though. Oh, it's a lot. But... Oh, that is so much mayo. Like, it's Rose, not even to put a I, sheen on it. I want to look young for her. So I have been dying oh, my hair. Him. Why is he and using a spatula as well? Why a spatula? Why is that the first so thing he goes for? I, I found I, out that mayonnaise makes it smoother and less So does conditioner, you mad cunt. Why are you using me? I found out they invented something for it. Rose, community doesn't agree with this. Like, younger than me. I smell like an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> but it really, really works. I just want to look young for Rose. Wow. Nice red wine to go with his mayo. Lovely flavour profiles. Now, I just want to go out and, like, I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn here, Sam. He's one of the most fucking disgusting human beings <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no joke. And, I work, and in, it makes it all I right work to see. In e -sport. A I work in esports, mate. Think of the things I've seen. He He's is. Really unreal, but... Mate. But. Yeah, uh, like okay. Uh, oh god, this is where my mind starts to melt, right? Because you know, he's does he not under right? Let's just lay it all out logically, okay? You, he must know he's physically hideous, right? <laughs> he must. You he must. He he he's got a mail order bride. He must know he's 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 not pulling people down the nightclub, is he? He must know, like, he can't be so deluded he looks in the mirror and goes, a bit more mayonnaise than that'll, that'll I don't do know, but the because like, you... there's a whole other side to the show, which I don't even know, because I'd already watch it, I've just seen Ed. But there's, like, 90 Day Fiancé has, like, a talk show, like a mad podcast, where they have all the people who've been on, either in the couples they're still in, or just on his own. So Ed's on there, right? And he... Yeah. Right, so, so this guy, he's getting married to a guy he met on 90 Fiancé, right? And his mother, apparently, is really involved in the relationship. So she comes on the show, and they're like, you know, you do get involved a little bit much. And then Ed pipes up, and he goes, you know, I think you should just, uh, you know, take the tit out of his mouth and leave. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Why right? So that? then she just goes like, shut up, you grotesque little freak, like, fully roast. Like, look how gross you are. You wonder why no woman likes you. You're fucking gross. You're gross. 
rolls, just rolls him, and he's just like, he doesn't even really react, dude. I can't tell if he's like, just so egotistical, he doesn't even break him, or if he does accept it. He's like, yeah, I am gross, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I am gross. But she just got this for about six minutes, and we're like, you fucking gross bastard putting mayo in your head. I mean, the reality is, like, he is just fucking hideous. Like, I mean, he's hideous. But maybe in... did he get his neck injured? What if he used to write? Because he's probably no. It's he's it, quite he was thick, born right? that way. I think he was born that way. So as you'll see, maybe he could have used to be a bodybuilder. The neck, the neck is the least of his problems. I'm not even insulting him on the basis of no neck. I've known many a guy with no neck. Probably. No, I have. The neck isn't even the problem. Like, I mean, he is I'm... about four foot twelve. That does not help. Like, right? He's short with no neck. Now that's obviously a problem because if you've got no, you know, it really accentuates the height. If he had a few extra inches of neck, if he was playing for Australis, yeah, he would have had the neck and the forehead combo. Like, he would have definitely got up there. See different he would you know he would have just looked like an old yeah but the thing is but the way his body's built if you give him a neck he would also look like a fucking dinosaur flamingo hybrid he wouldn't look human but if you give him a real mm. neck he'd look fucking <laughs> the, dom the domingos it's like yeah. you know when you go blind the rest of your senses adapt so like because yeah. he's got no neck the rest of his body is adapted to just be like a girthy i didn't even mean clay i didn't mean zip next actually he, would look, he does look a bit like an old Zipnix. If he had the neck, obviously. Not now. <laughs> Nothing like Zipnix now. But, yeah, but he's fat, right? I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, so, he's fat, right? He is, you know, you have to, you have to think about proportions. It's, it's just rules. There's just rules. You can't be fat and bald. Rule. So, fair enough, he's got hair, right? But, you can't be fat and short. Because, you know, the shape's all wrong. People just don't like the shape. And then if like you're fat... Me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, see? You know, listen. I'll tell you what. When when Gimli and Legolas were all out fucking on the lads, lads, lads tour, right? How many, how many... You know, how many did Legolas have to turn down because no one wanted to even have a drink with Gimli? Then they've done Gimli dirty. But the reality is you can't be short and fat. You can't. Or you can't be short and fat and just have a shit personality as well, which we're going to get into. Yeah, the reason oh, it's easy oh, to wreck yes, him yes, is because yes. he's also a cunt. Like, that's yes. what makes it easy. Yes. Like, if yes. he was a sweet yes. guy and he was just, you know, not very good looking, you'd feel bad, but he is just a cunt as well. So you're just like, oh, he's a pure a cunt. cunt. He's Dribbler, a pure like. cunt. Oh, he's a pure cunt. And an idiot. You know. But so, and, and this is what I mean. It's like, okay, just to rewind, right? If you ever find yourself browsing mail order brides, your brain on some level knows you're a fucking ugly bastard. <laughs> like it's just I don't think and... it is strictly mail order. I think the way I don't know. The way it works for him, I think there's like they start talking on Facebook. So it's like I Yeah, but I looked from... into this and it was he was connected through an associate. Oh, okay, yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. it's shady as fuck. Yeah, that does. Because obviously, as we've got like you know, as society's improved, you know, mail order brides are basically, it's just one down from human trafficking. Like, it's completely unacceptable. It's people who are in abject poverty and miserable, essentially looking to get married to hideous old men so they can essentially kick a few books home to the family, get a visa, and eventually one day get divorced and have a normal life in a country that isn't plagued with all sorts of societal problems. It's fucking disgusting. It's a disgusting practice. And he's definitely, you know, he's... He, oh, it was an Wait, I think he's had multiple... Guy on you when he introduced us. I swear he's done it multiple times. It might not all be yeah. on the show, but he's talked about it on that fucking podcast thing. Like, he was talking to another girl before he was talking to this one, I think. Yeah. Someone in the chat says he's lost weight and gained muscle recently, but he still has no neck. I don't know how to break it to you. The neck ain't coming back. There's nothing <laughs> he can... The neck is gone. Unless you get it's him on one of those, like, medieval stretch racks, you might be able to pull the neck out. Not even then. I bet you could get, a, you get at least half inch of neck. You you're just gonna have to out. accept Ed. You're just gonna have to accept Ed's not getting his neck back, right? I don't think you could actually, gonna... but I reckon you could. You could like if if you if you told me right now, like you, 
he needs his neck, like for the good of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he needs his neck. Like, I don't he, know. He, he needs it now. <laughs> yeah. Well, he I, I could figure out. But I cut those jowls off, right? That gives him a little bit of a lift immediately. Cut oh, all that fat around like, his yeah, chin. Like, yeah. Yeah. All yeah, those jowls. Right. They gotta yeah. go. And then you yeah. like you fucking cut the bit of his. Uh, you take his traps off. He has no traps anymore. You don't need those. Cut those muscles off. That gives you a ne- another half inch, like. And then you just fucking put the rings around his neck. Although I don't, that's a years and years along. Yeah, thing, mate, you have to do. You have to do it when you're young. Yeah, but can you also no? But I don't mean like a, a thing like that. I mean like a medical sort of thing. Like I think there is a way to recreate, recorrect like the way the bones grow and make it elongate. But I don't think it's a short term process. Like I think no, I think I, I, I think neck rings. I think it's they've got to go on when you're a kid, or they're not gonna work. In yeah. many ways, I mean, I, yeah, but again, I don't again know. I'm not talking about like the tribal one stretching. I'm not about that. I'm on about like a, imagine a medical brace, like a bird cage on your head, but for your neck. So where, like your neck is always held straight up, and then every week he comes Braces in. Braces for the yeah, neck. and every week he right. comes right, so it's, jo- it's smashed into his neck, like connect to his jaw, and the other ones are sitting on his shoulder. And every week he comes in, I like, turn it a bit like braces, so it gets longer and longer. So I slowly elongate his neck, like yeah. Well. Yeah, I just think his neck's beyond saving. <laughs> you know, I I think he was born with a condition that basically I can't remember what it's called, but it is just like no neck, the disease. Like it, that's what it is, and he was never getting a neck. The neck, I said, this isn't even about the neck, right? You know my opinion. Yeah, I could forgive neck. him for being a no neck, sure. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, no, no. I mean, again, you, you're gonna have to accept. If you're there, essentially, trying to get married to women who are only doing it for money and the chance of a better life, if your brain isn't screaming at you, you are a fucking idiot, you're disgusting, you should probably think about some form of self-improvement. You know, if you're not there, then, you know, there's something not right. But he seems to think he's a catch. Yeah. Malehead. That's what blows my mind about this whole... That is what makes it so easy to hate them, like... Oh, so, now, you just saw a clip there, guys, right? You just saw a clip there. Hang on, I'm going to get to the right time. Right? It's about and three I'm gonna minutes, 20-ish. Yeah, no, uh, oh, yeah, because he buys it. Unless you want to show the lingerie. Like. No, I, I just. Although the way he's laid on the bed is pretty funny, but I think we should go from 2.45. I mean, she doesn't try it on anything. She's a grotesque yeah, player, so it's she, fine. Yeah, she is appalled by him. Like, there is that. So yeah, go on. We can go from like two thirty because he holds it up. So I'll just set this clip up, right? So basically, right? They go. She's landed, met him, right? They've been talking online all this time, right? And you know, she was really, really nice to him, Rose, when they first met. Now, how? I don't know, but I understand it. I mean, look. Well, mate, other start, yeah. right? I can provide context. She said, right. When, I, when she arrived, because first time she's in, they, they was like, he's smaller than I thought. He's fatter than I thought. He lied and he's right? Like, yeah. That's and he's ugly. Yeah. He was fucking photoshopping yeah. his pictures to her. Just so he looked like he was her. five fucking ten or something. But she said, like, he's really nice to me. So, you know what? Fuck it. Like, that's basically the gist. She's like, he's lied. He's ugly as fuck. But you know what? He has been nice. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. She but literally it turns says out that in the first not interview. nice. Right. And so he gets into the hotel room. She's had a shower, just got off a long flight, you know. Uh, She sat there in her robe on the bed, like just enjoying, you know, what's going to be like a little holiday for them. And this creep, but this creep, he immediately pulls out this fucking revealing lingerie he's bought for her without her knowledge or anything and gone, yeah, it'd just be wicked if he just wore this all the time. It's mental, mate. I fucking just let's just do it. Let's just get this clip right. out the way. Three. I'll try. I'll try not to spew. Three, two, one, go. Okay. The swimming pool, and then big surprise. Big what is surprise. that? Or it's called a teddy. My dog is named Teddy. This is also called Teddy. So Rose and I have only made just love once, you so my pet, being like, intimate is still Yeah, I said me and Rose us, have already made, all, made love once. We like it, we like it, Mark. I brought along a couple presents from home, so I think now is the time to give her her lingerie. 
You want to try that on now? <laughs> look at the shit, man. Oh, I, I know what it is. Look, look at the lean, but look at the lean. Okay. Look when at the lean. I give like... me a laundry, I feel shocked because I don't know how to wear it. Eat. Like at this point, she isn't even fully disgusted like by this. him. Well, you will see. Oh, she no. Hates him yeah, she's not, she's not even disgusted by him. Sure. Okay, so. She's just like, I've never seen him before. Going I don't to know be... what it was. Look at the Less other romantic. present, guys. Watch this. Oh, but. Oh, oh God. So I this is a uh, mouthwash. And I got you a cute toothbrush. Look, this your breath is not um, pretty. <laughs> One of the first things I noticed, you know, like, even at the airport, you know, was her breath, but I didn't know how to bring it up. And I don't think she realized it, you my cunt. but I do. And then I got you good toothpaste. Look, this is where she begins to turn, like, really cunt. <laughs> do you know that um, my <laughs> concern is your health? Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to your heart. You can get sick. Do you, it, like, do you understand? The best woman of your life, and you're telling her she got I stank mean, breath on day well, one. This is my from my stomach, not my teeth. Oh, well, turns out she has a medical condition to get rid of my breath. There we go. Look. You know. So, just wreck there of a medical ulcer. condition. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a mad cut. Yeah, this like is the first time you're telling me you have an ulcer. I always took brush. Okay. Oh, look, she's like, fuck this fat mess. So now you tell me, I understand. Got air like Gene Simmons as well. Like, From my heart, oh, God, like, I care about you. Oh, uh, God, yeah. he tries to style it out as well. Oh, look, look at the face. I know you care about me. You're brilliant. Like, yeah, so you said I, you said I got so shit, right? I want to give up. <laughs> yeah, that's where it turns. I think Ed's a rude person. Oh, I got worse as well. Like, this is even if the lowest Ed I'd sunk. truly love me. Yeah, we can stop it there. So, here's where it gets worse, guys. I couldn't believe this. So, he's already fucked up with Breathgate, right? That's outrageous. He then took her out for a nice meal. Right? Took her out for a nice meal, he did. Oh, you've got the clip, have you? Can we, can we yeah. show that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on, let me... I couldn't do. Let me... Oh, I'm just checking. I'm just going all the way through. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's all good. It's again. at a restaurant. Right, yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it. So he takes her out for a nice meal, right? And listen... Safe sex is is very is what you should be all practicing. If you're in my chat, you're practicing the safest sex of all. None. Got him. Got him. Got you all. <laughs> right. <laughs> but here's the thing: for future reference, right? For future reference, and I I'll be honest, I haven't done this, but I have said like you know after one night it's like ah you know you better not have given me no like <laughs> so <laughs> i'm clean but like if you are not or if you ever do get anything like just let me know like give me an heads up um but you don't do this you don't do this so fuck yeah let's go three two one and that's whatever three you're ready. two one go i know you're tired of me asking about your past and i don't want to do that anymore i want to put it behind us Somehow his face has gone into him in this favor. clip. Like, yes, man. He looks like Basket Case, that horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a test that you can his take. His face got a gradient. Yeah, you test me? No, yeah, a te it's, a, it's a test for... Um, for um, oh, yeah. I don't know if you understand it. It's um, STD, which is... <laughs> I don't know if you understand it. Um, I, think I think you're a, a whore. And they just test <laughs> to see... <laughs> Um, what is it the have, um, like sexually transmitted disease oh man so that so i was asking if you're willing to take that test i'll never ask you a, 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 another question oh, about look your at this was it man this is where it ends yeah oh it ends so yeah, like... this is after toothbrush gate as well like done with him yeah. i'm disappointed I finally understand what he said about STD test. 
I feel uh, hurt. I feel, oh, my heart crack. You want to test me? I, I feel you're not trusting Look at him. Like, like. I feel offended. Well, there's no what chance he, he got anything, to be fair. I don't fair. mean to offend you. But every yeah, time not S T D. What about the other T Ds? Like every time he's I got ask D's. You about past relationships, you don't want to talk about it. So I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable with me. Imagine him no, saying no, well, I'm just not comfortable with having sex SCD actually. Like, because I want to know for myself that Oh, it is the food as well. Oh my god. You know, she's not someone You've that, got that it wasn't even around. at the end of the meal. It wasn't even at the end of the meal, Sam. It wasn't even at the end of the meal, Sam. They've got to sit down and eat the dinner after that. Oh, my God. So, unreal, so surprising nobody. <laughs> Ed. Off his head, Ed. Uh, Mayo Ed, Ed. They didn't make it. <laughs> it went really downhill. Although I do think she got a little bit of revenge because she took him out to the Philippines oh, where yeah. he whined like a fucking bitch the entire time, waddling behind. I I I'm so hot, I'm dying. Can we? Where's the air conditioning? <laughs> like, a like a typical yeah. fucking American abroad. Like, Jesus, I'm dying. Abroad. I have to leave. I'm dying. I'm dying, yeah, yeah. Rose. I'm literally I'm dying. dying, darling. I'm like, come on. Terrific. It's, it's, it's right. like, what, 95 degree heat or something? Like, you can't cope with it. Mate, and he's it's made it's 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 running down his face. He looks like <laughs> Sting <laughs> just coming out of the rafters. <laughs> Like, it you know, even inspired like a, a a group of YouTube videos, which is just like people on Ninety Day Fiance complaining about being in countries other than America, and it's just all of them like yeah. it's so warm here. Like, yeah, yeah you mad cunt. What oh. do you mean? Oh man, I'm dying. I'm dying, Rose. I'm dying. <laughs> no, no, Rose, I'm literally well, dying. That was your thing as well. She was going, look, I'll buy you a present, and uh, you know, because they're at the local stores. And, um, you know, he says he'll buy her yeah, a yeah. present. And, and when... he doesn't ask if she yeah. even likes this stuff. And she goes to get the money to pay for it out of, like, his wallet that he's holding out in his face, mate. He's like, a Don't woman? my money. Yeah, he literally gets angry about her handling his money to buy the pajamas he was buying for her. Like, this guy's out of his mind, like. This guy is out of his fucking mind. And yeah, here's the happy ending for Rose. I mean, first of all, she's got away from this absolute fucking stinking yeah. mess. Like, you know, which is like, oh, God bless. God bless. I wouldn't wish Ed on anyone. Not on anyone. Apparently, he's like engaged to another victim. Like, it's, oh, no. oh, I know it's savage. Like, 28 as well. Like, full straight mayo hair in. You know, maybe he's learned, like, yeah, <laughs> before the foods come. So, listen, I want you to take an AIDS test because I reckon I you're know. dirty as fuck. Like, you can't even believe it. But, hey, oh, I can smell you from <laughs> the northeast when you're breath. No, she, is she's 28. The victim's 28. People in the chat, he's not 28. He's fucking 50 something. Fuck but anyway. 28. Right, but, but, uh, fucking but anyway. dog years, maybe, but. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dogs can't look up, apparently, so, you know. He can't either. He's got no neck. Yeah, exactly. So he's a fucking. Correct. He's more owl than he is human. Oh yeah, for real. Except owls are generally wise. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, the good news is Rose did get away from him, and I think only had sex with him one time. Um, and which is great. Still rough. And and uh, even fucked him over as well when he went to the Philippines. Uh, Dad just turned up at the yeah. house. And went, yeah, I'm just going to be sleeping in this room, yeah. and Ed's like. Nope, you're not she's getting any said that, Yeah, room. exactly. Yeah, of course. Massive setup. And then she peaced out at the end after another argument over him saying, like, why haven't you people got air conditioning or something? Yeah, Looking man, equally man. ridiculous. So anyway, she has like, um, she's got like 750,000 YouTube subscribers. Good. Glad for yeah. her. Glad for her. Glad. Good on you, Rose. You're good people. Uh, very happy for your success. I'm so, I'm sad that you had to meet someone like Ed <laughs> for for your dream to come true. Uh, yeah, and big Instagram following as well. Um, so there was that.
right? Now, there was another episode as well of 90 Day Fiancé, which, I, I, look, I, the whole show is just Richard and Sam review what was reality the other one? TV. Remember the, the woman who married the African oh, guy? Oh, that one was so good, but that one was fucking hilarious, but oh, that one was so funny. But, she uh, was an absolute Oh, uh, it was bitch, so funny. Bitch. She was, she's in all the YouTube videos oh, where they're yeah. talking about like, oh, the fucking Baby Lisa. American. Yeah. I love Listen you, baby me, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Those texts God. with the other girl. Lisa, Lisa. Yeah. I like, eventually, because eventually he just gives up. He's like, you know what? Fuck this. Like, I'm not <laughs> no, even going no, to America she, no yeah, more. Yeah, I know. She, he's like, just, just fucking like, like, yeah. No, she does. It, fuck it. Yeah, she just breaks him. Like, oh, it's unbelievable. Like, basically, he's a, he's a guy from, I think it's Morocco. And he wants to get into the American music business. And he's like, you know, Is playing it. Was it Morocco or was it Nigeria? No, it's it was Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah. Yeah, because they go to Lagos, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. They go to Nigeria, yeah. So it's Nigeria. And he's in the music scene. He wants to go to America because he thinks it'll boost him up. And he knows, unfortunately, the sad reality is America, being America, it's not letting in a lot of Nigerians. So he goes, All right, don't worry about it. Um, I'm gonna I'll marry this woman, and she is the most hilarious. Oh, Miserable cunt. Oh, he got the he got the oh, worst pick of the big. He drew, yeah, like he's a good looking way, guy. Like most he's people. Put it this way. Been, oh man. If you were to ask him, would you have been happier if Ed had turned up? He'd probably say. Yeah, yes. he would have married Ed quicker than. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh fucking hell, she was an absolute uh, outrageous. Uh, just like not just a, like oh she's ugly whatever. She, so he's yeah. a musician. No, right? she's she, she she complains from the moment yeah. she gets there. The moment she gets there, she goes, "You said we'd be staying in a good hotel, you know, and they're in like a three star hotel. You know, it's not, you know what I mean. And because they have to conserve water, you know, there's a bucket. And he says like you put hot water in the bucket and you have a shower so we don't waste water. Good fucking idea. It turns out that's Californians, and yet. She's immediately like, going, I can't believe it. This primitive place. Like, she's so fucking gnarly, borderline racist, like, miserable as fuck. Complains the entire time. Then he says, now, look, if you're going to marry into my family, there's some traditions that you have to adhere to. It'd be really nice if you bought them a goat. Yeah. So she goes to a goat market, right, with him. And she immediately goes, this, a phrase that is just like, it's so insane to say it. This goat market stinks. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Goats yeah, it you. does. Yeah. Yeah, farm animals. Yeah. So she is fucking whining about that. Then he goes, this would be a great goat to buy. It's fat, plump, you know, yeah. healthy. I got you a good um, price. I've already talked. Yeah, I got you a good price. I've haggled yeah, but... with him. And she and turns around and says, like, oh, it's going to be, like, I don't know, $1,000 or $800 or something. And you can go online and look at the price of a goat in Nigeria, by the way. He did get a discount. I think it was, like, 250 Yeah, I think it was two hundred. It was low. I think it was $200, and she got it for the same price. And it was a. It, it was it was on the lower end of the price, and it was a bigger goat. So yeah. Like, it's a good deal. Yeah. I've, I've negotiated yeah. a good It deal. was a good deal. The guy saw the TV cameras. The, you know, and was like, fuck yeah, I'll do you a deal on the goat. It's one of the great things about travel in the world. You forget when you go to other countries, haggling. Oh, it's such yeah, a nice thing. They own feeling, their own business. It? They get the Yeah, they the own price. their own business. They get to set the price. you got to go, well, I've only got this. And you feel a little bit when it. Some people, you know, I've been, to, I've been to countries where like they almost welcome it a little bit. The oh, haggling. yeah. That's half the it's fun. Like, yeah, it's the fun. Exactly. It's how they break up the day. So, you know, but she wasn't having any of it. She turned to a bow, uh, you know, potential lover, and said, uh, he's ripping me off because I'm white. Yeah. And immediately just brought that to the table. And I'm just thinking, probably don't want to really get into the whole, you know, how Africa and all that went with our yeah. yeah. Do you really, just, is is the big crime yeah. really you paying ten extra dollars yeah, for a goat? Yeah, was it? Was it? Yeah, was it the goat? That was the straw that broke the camel's back. What was it? All the yeah. Oh. I guess we'll never know what one was. It was it was un fucking believable. It was un fucking believable. And then went to another hotel and she was going, oh, I'm so looking looking forward to getting in this better hotel because I think that's when they moved yeah, into yeah. the city and they went to Lagos. 
Get in there, four-star hotel. Still using the bucket water system. Spewing, livid. Oh, and obviously the thing as well. Why is the bed so low, wasn't it? Was that what you yeah, complained about? I think about? it was just like mattresses maybe on the floor. Or it yeah. was like mats. No, no. It, it was just, it just wasn't particularly high. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's high. what she was playing. Why it was a box spring. Because yeah, they were on a box it. spring. Yeah. 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 Mate, and the part as well, right? So this guy's a musician. So he record, he wrote a song about this fucking troll of a woman, right? And he even put her name in it, Lisa, is singing this song about Lisa. And when they recorded the music video, they had someone play the part of Lisa. And she just fucking kicked off, made him delete yeah, oh, the video, yeah, like yeah. raging at his manager. And there's a scene where the manager's like, I don't think you understand that you are fucking up his career. And she's like, I fucking hate this guy. Don't ever fucking talk to him again. And he's just laughing. He's like, Here it is, Lisa, man. Lisa, Lisa, calm down, Wait, Lisa. Let me, let, let me find the clip. Let me find the clip, right? Here it is. Let me find the clip. Right, let me just see if I can find it. Yeah, the other, what's his oh, name? Oh, they're making it look reasonable. They make it look reasonable here. That's not how it went down at all, TLC. That's not how it went down at all. She was well out of order. They're getting divorced now, by the way, as of 2020. I can't believe they actually got through, went through with it. I can't what? believe he went through with the I wedding. Like, got got a, fair play to him, like, fair play. But hang on, uh, let, me, let me find it. Uh, Ford, please. Phone scene. Oh, you want the end part? I can do that. I got that clip. Oh, well, have you got? Have you got the bit where uh, she just finds out he's cheating? Right. Oh, well, yeah, the one so, where she like confronts him in the yeah, thing, yeah. and he just snaps and goes, "Listen, I might have put up with this for all the time." Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, down right. for that. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Send me that. Send me that. Yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, yeah. In my veins, please. Let's uh, get let's to the right. Let's go to uh, two thirty. Yeah. We can go a little bit after yeah. 230. Let's just go 230, mate. Keep it. Yeah, easy. all right. So again, just to set this up, guys. What's happened there is, you know, she is already all up in his shit. Like already all up in his shit. Ima imagine you've essentially just met someone for what is tantamount to an arranged marriage, and you are checking their phone when they're not in there. I can't like even fathom how jealous and mental you have to be. And she thinks she's totally right. And obviously, because he is a young, attractive man with a music career, he has talked to women. At, you know, his crime. And he, yeah, he's probably sleeping with them. He probably is. Because I don't know. Again, she's suffering from the same problem Ed's suffering from. In her mind, she thinks she's oh, she, a good she, she lets that be known as well. But she, oh, yeah. She in says this that. Clip, yeah. In this clip. In this clip. She thinks she is an attractive woman. And has lots going for her. In reality, she is a miserable bitch that doesn't seem to realize that probably her salad days are gone. You know, it's like, just, you know, you're with a cool guy. He's doing his best. Enjoy it. But no. Right, here we go. 2.30. Right. Three, two, one, go. Sit down, sit down. Two hours ago, I was very happy. But back in the hotel, that changed very quickly. Thank you so much. So, let's check out our couch. To discuss. If we don't brush them up tonight, one thing in particular, there'll be no marriage. Uh, why are you telling me there'll be no marriage? After what I saw. What do you saw? Your whore on your messenger. Hey, Don't Karen. be stupid. I took pictures with my own cell phone. Look! This one. Look at this outrageous behavior! You think you're a wannabe player? Let me tell you something. I've been watching her for months on Facebook. This is a stupid that put a sad emoji when you posted something. Not a you. sad emoji! Not a sad emoji. You that's sad in love react. with a white woman. You know, get my time now. You know that I love you, but who? Hmm. You love who? Me? And then up top it says, mm, I love you, baby. Who's Who it in up? the do you think you are? <laughs> Look at him. Earlier this evening, I tried to activate my Wi-Fi off his phone. Man, you can see it though. Uh, yeah, you can see his box going. She's whined the whole time. He's had, like a, yeah. saying, He's had like a week of this now. Saying I love you. He's had a week of this now. Baby this, baby that. No. Who in the do you think you're playing with us, man? I open your phone and see this. 
He's done with it. Okay. Yeah, go on. Come on. Tell her Listen, I love bang you. the table, bro. That's so good. I am so mad right now. I fire is going through me right now. I will not be humiliated by this Nigerian whore and him writing point blank, I love you. I need to make sure he has been faithful to me. Because if not, there's going to be no husband and I. That lady is just your friend. She Still was talking to play to calm. Mm -hmm. that Yeah, look at him. Deep breath. Deep breath, I, 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 I want you to get through us. this, husband. I'm rooting I'm for you, buddy. You. Come on. No, you're sticking to me and using me while you're... What should be in you? Of course you are. Why else would this be happening? The relationship That's the trend. That lady, she's just a friend. And yes, I say hi, baby, to her because... Sometimes fans or friends can call you baby, they can call you love. Called some baby, it, it don't mean nothing. Yeah, you are in love. I don't, don't have mean any nothing around me. Outside, inside, around me, anyway. The only girlfriend I have is Lisa. Still staying true. Listen, yeah. no. Wait. Don't tell me to Wait. listen. And you want to play? You tell me now because I tell you what. I'm older than you. I played this game a lot longer than you, and I play a lot harder, and I always win. You're going to hear me now. But I have to talk. No, you're not going to speak. You either block them and clean Stop up that it. page tonight. We're not getting married. I did not bring you here for you, you to just be shouting on me. <laughs> yes. What? Do you get to understand that yeah. I'm doing a favor for you to get married to <laughs> I'm no, doing no, a favor no, about no, you, you gross yes. 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 I don't want to marry you then. You know why? I've got 50 <laughs> men in the state right now. I can marry you. Like you. <laughs> They're not like us, man. You know they what? are not like us, You're man. not that big of a star. You're local talent. Right, oh, let's get come on, buddy. Straight. Is that what you're thinking? You're a liar to me. I'm done. I don't need to. Sit down. Sit down. No, sit down. You don't tell me. Don't tell me. Wait. I'll get the cab. You and the little boat you got. That's you what you little boy. Life. You I don't even know what that means. Like. That, did we mix him in? Does he have a boat? Is that a penis insult on the way out? Like, I mean, yeah. yeah. Or does he actually own a boat? Maybe. I, I mean, I owning, a, owning a boat, no mean feet. I know, huh? I don't. Fuck your small boat. You ain't got a boat, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you. One more boat than you owe. The, the fact that they actually went through and got married, like, Usman uh, is the patience of a saint. Like, I love it. And the fact they're divorced now. Oh, man, I hope he's living his best life. I hope life. he's still what got a, a visa back there, so, because he's oh, putting yeah. a graft. What to that. a king. Mate, I've never seen a man tested like him. Not since Jesus. Like it's absolutely <laughs> not joking. Like even Jesus would have fucking broke on this. Like it is. If he had absolute... bet, if he had crawled out of a tomb, there'd be another book written about him. Uh, oh, believe off, it. Like, like believe it. Like she's so fucking outrageously just the entire time complaining. It's like I don't know what to tell you. Like what were you expecting? Like oh, mate, mate. So anyway, as you can see. Went down the 90 day fiance rabbit hole as well, <laughs> which is again, it's ruined my life. It's Sam's ruined my life because I can actually take some sort of enjoyment from watching those horrible things. Now, again, yeah, mate, lifestyle documentary is very different. Sorry, TV. yeah, yeah, you it's are right. The, the these show. are not lifestyle documentaries. <laughs> Come on, not 90 day fiance, uh, too. Kind of, it's a man yeah. putting fucking mayonnaise in his hair. Come yeah, on, I guess. I guess you can win. Come on, I, guess that is yeah. I, I won that one. All right, fine. Now, the other show we watched, obviously, lots of because Sam, it's dun, Sam's dun, 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 dun. right? Is Dog the Bounty Hunter, right? And Sam loves Dog. I mean, he really Mate, loves Dog. The Bounty. I was saying, Sir Richard, I want to do a special, which basically is like. A one-off opposite, which is called "I Love It Here," right. and it's just yeah, the yeah, history you did of Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, so but unfortunately, Sam... like he, he, I don't know, he, he's probably done some bad things. He has to think every time you say like "I love someone," it's like, "What? Oh, so you love that he said this?" No, I don't love that about Dog the Bounty Hunter. Do I like? I love the part where he says, "Get him, Leland." That is the yeah. part I love. Like, have Get I him, really got to have I got to claim the old man to enjoy Get him, Leland? Really? So. The mat, right? Are we going to talk about the? 
the moon angel stuff as I, well, that needs that? its own show but i right yeah okay, we can't okay, deep okay, dive in a dog yeah. about your next yeah yeah, yeah no, there's yeah, too yeah. much content well same with a dog but like yeah. i want to just sell his new, new show yeah, i do yeah. want to just sell his new yeah, show I so do. anyway right i've always been ambivalent about dog the bounty hunter right sam comes up he watches season after season binges on it re-watches episodes he's seen before and just hear him in the middle of the night get him leland get him leland when well, i'm trying to get to sleep sam just fucking loves dog the bounty hunter right and that's fine, it, it, you know, I, I get it. But I've never been a big fan, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, ne I never have. It never worked for me. Um, but then, Sam said, will you, just sit, will you just sit down and watch? And this is before he, I think he'd subjected me to my 600 yeah, pound life. And like, he said, will you just sit down and watch some episodes with me properly? And I'm like... All right, I've got a nice big reclining chair in the living room these days that massages you, right? <laughs> and uh, I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm in the chair. I'll have a scotch. I'm in the chair. Let's watch some dog. And coincidentally, Sam found by accident, although probably not by accident. So Sam does I, know all the God, episodes. as dog would say, mate, God leads the way. You just were in times yeah. of, of doubt. It, uh, yeah, and, you're right. Like, fear, it was God Jesus definitely the took the wheel on this one. Because I saw the maddest thing I've ever seen. Choose Christ, on. bro. Uh, it's the maddest thing I've seen on television, perhaps. It's it's madder than all the It was the perfect step. Because before yeah. this, right, I was saying to Richard, like, I might be mentally ill, but, but I'm telling Luke, Dog the Bounty Hunter is actually the best comedy show of all time. Like, oh, yeah, you said you it. Can, yeah, you, you could say, say like, Cheers, Seinfeld. I understand it's not written, Dog the Bounty Hunter, right? But if, if I told you it was and you watched it, I'm telling you it's the funniest show ever made. Like, oh, it is, like. Uh, uh, this was just un... Uh, this was just unreal. So, here's what happened. They're chasing down. Uh, uh, he's a bounty hunter. In case, you didn't, in case you didn't know. Yeah. In case you run away, goes after bounties. Because in America, a great society, uh, they have a system where you get caught for something. You have to go to court at a later date, and then you're just free. Yeah, you can post and bail. You pay together. bail, and someone has the bond for the bail. And then if you don't turn up for your court date, rather than the police coming to catch you. They can just license it out to a bounty hunter who can just yeah. come and take well, you and no, make because you... basically the way it is, right? So, dog, the bounty hunter gives me 10 grand. I have to give him 10% up front, right? So, I give him a grand, dog pays 10. So, if I mm. skip bail, the police don't give a fuck because they've got the money. They've got the 10 grand. So, if dog can't find me, dog loses 10 grand. That's why dog is always so aggro because he's always like, yeah. you're stealing money out of my kid's mouth. No, it is they true. take it his money. That's why he's aggro as fuck. It, there shouldn't be a system where somebody like dog can make money. Yeah, but he is right. Um. So anyway, this episode, they're going after a guy who's got some pretty gnarly shit on his record because it, it, usually it's just low-level drug offenders, you know, failure to uh, you know, failure to re reply to the court or turn up for the court dates and stuff like that. Occasionally some DUIs, you know, outstanding. But like this guy had like violent crimes, right? All of all of that stuff, and he was called Bubba, right? Big. Uh, was that his street name or was that his like real name? Yeah, I think that was his nickname, Bubba. Yeah, nickname. But that he is what like, it, even his family called him Bubba. So his name yeah, even his Bubba. family called him Bubba. So big fella, biker type, you know. And he's uh, he and he hadn't turned up. So they spend the first like quarter of the episode doing all the usual, right? Yeah. And if you ever watch the Dog the Bounty Hunter episode, you know what it's like. It's like basically you hear dog the music. walks in, sunglasses on because he's got eyes like sheep's cunts you know he's there uh, he comes in with his shades on music starting Aloha, bro. Uh, you seen this guy hello bro yeah yeah oh no i'm not even at the search party i'm talking about the meeting and the prep <laughs> oh, when he comes in <laughs> yeah. he comes in and they do the prep work. so what we got okay. on this guy they just write basic facts on a whiteboard yeah. the things you all already know i don't even know who it's for maybe dog just himself the camera, I think. Sure. Was, there was also a clip by the way where and, and this might have been in this episode <laughs> yeah. as well, where Dog kept going, can I have the arrest record? Can I have the sheet? From and Beth. uh, and Beth's Beth. going, no, you can't, no, you can't. He goes, God damn it. And he walks off and Beth goes to the cameras. The thing is with Dog, I don't give him the sheets because he loses them all the time. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> a, a bit of Beth, patience of a saint, bless her. She just has to look after this idiot that is also a bounty hunter. So 
Anyway, uh, they're doing the meeting. We're gonna go get Bubba. We're gonna do this, and then of course, they're on the streets. Get him, Leland. Leland, like Sam's actual favorite man. Like fully, we'll get to a special bit. Leland is the actual. It should be called Leland the Bounty Hunter, really. You, yeah, no, you fucking love Leland. Like it depresses me that you love Leland more than you love me. Mate, you know what's mad, right? In the position where they're esports, right? We'll, I'll, I'll wait after we talk about the show. We'll make more sense. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I know where you're going as well. So anyway, right? They're all driving, and they're all looking around, and of course, then Dog comes out and does what Dog does best: ask stupid questions like, "Have you seen Bubba? Anyone know Bubba? This Bubba, this Bubba, that Bubba. Anyone seen know Bubba? Bro? You seen Bubba? You seen Bubba?" And then he just comes back because no one's seen Bubba, and it's like they're not even in the right dead fucking end. neighborhood or something like that. <laughs> Another dead end. He's good. But Dog always gets his man, and then Beth will yeah. go, I've just been talking to a CI, yeah. i.e. someone that the network already uh, had yeah, waiting. I've just been talking to a CI, like confidential informant. It's not using police lingo. It's just you're talking to a person. Like, you know, CI, you're talking to them for no, one No, I think what only. it is is, right, because I know they give away money for info, right? So I think basically yeah. is it, it's the friend of the person or it's the co-signer who doesn't want to, them to know they snitch them, but Dog will give you a grand if you snitch Actually. So whenever they yeah, say CI, I think it just means one of their friends wants a grand, so he's telling us. Yeah, yeah, he like, yeah. So I'm talking to a CI who says Bubba's over over here, so we're going to check it out. So they check it out, and Bubba's not there, right? And they go, God damn, he's good, but Doug always gets his man. Nah, nah, for... nah, 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 nah. And they go back to the office, right? And they start yeah. ringing around known associates. <laughs> Which for some like reason that. is always like the third step. They never call the co before. Like, yeah. That's never step one for some reason. No, never. Never, is it? Never. I suppose it's more exciting this way, isn't oh, yeah, it? yeah, you are doing a show. Yeah, you are doing a show. You do have to think about that. Like, Ozzy Osbourne didn't write that song didn't pay you that know, much money for that for you, song for uh, Yeah, for you to just efficiently capture criminals. <laughs> that would be absurd. So anyway, he um he 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 they're ringing around and then basically like Beth puts the phone down and goes, oh, I've just heard back from the family. Bubba's just been in a car accident and he's on life support, but he's not gonna make it and they're turning the machine off, right? Yeah. And dog immediately goes <laughs> like that. <laughs> Right, but then he realizes there's a camera there. So obviously there's that slim chance that it's not bullshit, right? And so he goes, uh, mate, well, I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true because that would be sad. But I'm going to just say, if it's bullshit, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. So they're trying to tiptoe around the fact yeah. they think it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And it's, to be right. fair, right, so me and Rich were watching this, and we both were like, as if, mate. And he went, yeah. and you were like, mate, what is this and fucking show? I man? even said to Sam at this point, if this guy's really dead, this is the best TV show of all time, right? Yeah. And so anyway, they, right, they're trying to downplay it, but Dog just goes, you know, uh, uh, you hear all kinds of things when you're a yeah. bounty hunter, like mostly... What are you doing in my house? This is the wrong address if you're dog. But fair enough. Beth doesn't give him the sheets. So, you know, you can't you can't be blamed for that. And then anyway, they they drive to a place they think they're gonna find him. And then they somebody else on the phone, it's like his girlfriend or something. Yeah, Bubba's dying. He's we're about we're saying our final goodbyes. The doctor's coming, they're gonna turn off the machine. Yeah. And dog just goes, Right, I'm gonna drive to that hospital, brat. Yeah. I'm going to go check right? for myself. I'm going to check for myself. So they drive to the hospital that they said Bubba was at. Dog, shades oh, on, yeah. Mace, bulletproof Mace vest up. on, flat on, mace gun in hand, paintball gun. You see him storming in to the doors, and then it takes an ad break for dramatic effect. It comes back. Mate, the best Dog part. comes. Yeah, I knew back. because the music just kept, like as soon as we come back for the break, I started cheesing, but because the music came on, I was like, "No way, but there's no way, but yeah." It, and so it gets back after the ad break, a dog just is walking back out of the hospital, guns and mace down. He goes, "He's gone, bro." Yeah, with someone from the family gone, next bro. to him. Yeah, he's gone, bro. He's gone. Like he's just dead. That was it. <laughs> yeah, the guy. They, they. Oh, they spent all that time. He's he's gone, bro. He is dead. They weren't lying. Like, and he and he went. He went. And uh, I've got someone from the family here, Uncle Smitty. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle fucking Smitty! Oh god, it's too good. So Uncle Smitty 
is there stood next to me. He looks a bit like Phil from Beaver La Bam, but I don't know if that's my mind just telling me to watch that too. But anyway, so he stood there and he's going, yeah, Bubba just got lost in life. And, uh, you know, we didn't know he wasn't going to court or he'd done all these terrible things, but he just, you know, life just got away from him and, and now it's over, but, but I hope he's at peace. I hope he's at rest. And I would like Doug to lead us in prayer. <laughs> I, 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 I was on the edge of my super expensive chair. Oh, it was unreal, man. It. We were, I, I was uh, shouting. I was so excited, man. Oh, man. And then, seriously, no joke now. I think like Leland, Doug's daughter, Beth, Uncle Smithy yeah. in a rare cameo appearance. They all hold hands. And Doug fully shaded up fully shaded yeah. right he's just going jesus <laughs> jesus and our lord above please welcome bubba in. <laughs> <laughs> one day oh i hope God. we all get to meet bubba in the afterlife in yeah. heaven uh yeah Amen. In, 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 and he goes God. like we may not have got to him in time this time to save him and put him on the road to salvation but i hope one day when we're all in heaven with you lord we get <laughs> we get to talk to Bubba. <laughs> like he was just a criminal. Like he's a piece of paper. Like what do you mean you're going to meet him in heaven? God, well, you know, etern if you believe that, you know, eternity. That you have got loads to do. Like fair enough. But what? Anyway, I'm, I'm the gonna bad thing is that was the whole episode. Usually they have like one or two guys. <laughs> the whole oh, episode was built was up. I'm trying to find yeah, this guy, like, and yeah. then the last three minutes, just he's dead, bro. Uh, yeah, our father. <laughs> just off. Yeah, yeah, like titles. <laughs> Credits, it's credit. all like Roll credit. There's, there's dead Bubba all around <laughs> me. I'm like, what? Like, there's no like follow up, no requiem. Do you know what's Schmitty. mad as well? But that's the only guy I've ever seen get away from dog. Oh, I mean, the only one I've ever like, seen him drop. Like, you know, I like to think in my fan fiction, in my words. brain, he knew dog was coming for him. He seen the show and he just thought, fuck it, bro, yeah. I'll, I'll, off a cliff. We Switch off the machine, bro. Just like Felmer and Louise, but it's just Bubba. You know, Bubba and Dog, like, just he's had enough, like, he knows. I couldn't fucking believe it. I literally couldn't believe it, like, and the thing is, it's sad, because a man has died, but statute of limitations, I think enough time has passed, because yeah. like, the, Dog didn't even have that many wrinkles. In I mean, episode. his uncle didn't give a fuck, but, so I don't know why, it should be so simple yeah, there. His uncle wouldn't even ask. Yeah, but when Uncle Smitty said, and I'd like Dog... <laughs> Definitely, that's the guy that's for it. The it. guy who was chasing your felonious fucking relative down, essentially hounded him to his death in the first place, and also is a TV bounty hunter. Who better? Who better? Absolutely, yes. God bless America. Dog, I hope we all see you soon, Bubba. Like, you be <laughs> and you're going to give me, it's you're going to give me my 10 grand time. in heaven, Bubba. You're going to give me my 10 grand. I think he gets, by the way, someone asked a chat, he does get the money if they die. Same as if the if the police catch him, he still gets some money. Yeah. Oh, but he was landed. <laughs> that's the thing. I bet he was landed. I bet, the ones you like. I bet he had to do that scene again. I bet he came out the doors on the yeah. first take and kicked his heels. He's dead. We got him. He's fucking dead. <laughs> and it's double Smitty just behind him, like. And he's like, oh shit, shit, do that again, Because as me and Sam noticed in other episodes, the camera crew do cover for dog. Oh, oh they yeah. do. They they cover up from. Tell him. What? Tell the, him, the, where you shooting? Yeah, wait. So you... right, so he's chasing this guy who works um Vietnamese guy and he's living with his family and they work in a nail salon. So he goes to the nail salon, he's like, Oh, we didn't even know he was wanted. Yeah, I'm renting like a, a flat for him across the street. So they go there, right? And as they're walking around the back, they're like, Leland, cover the back. So they, they do the old perimeter surrounding. And as they do it, they see a guy getting on a motorbike. He's like, that's him. So he, start, he turns around, he sees Dog the Bounty Hunter with a paintball gun, but he shits himself. He starts, he revs up the engine. Dog the Bounty Hunter, but just starts spraying the, the floor, but just spraying down the street. Bah, 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 bah. And it's not even paintballs. It's like pepper bullets. So if I hit you, it will fuck you up, but it'll hurt. Because you're supposed to aim at the floor. Because he was and aiming at the floor control. first. Yeah, and then he's just, yeah. Yeah. So he's aiming at the floor of the motorbike, and then he's just spraying like holy man. So then the police show up, and they go like, uh, "Oh fuck, what? I can't even remember what his lie was." We're like, "Dog, were you uh, were you shooting?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah he's so like, uh, I saw him, yeah, 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 I saw him get on the motorbike, and then he started reaching, and uh, so I started shooting immediately." He's like, "Oh, oh, he's reaching." So did you see the gun? 
Uh, I didn't see him have a gun. No, I don't think he had a gun. He, he was just reaching. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, okay, dog, that's fine, dog. Yeah, sure, you're good to go. <laughs> and the, the camera crew have literally just filmed him lying. They to filmed him lying. Yeah, because yeah. they filmed him run away. There was no reaching, but he went straight on the motorbike and flew. Oh, yeah, he, he was going to die. Lost his but... mind. Keep in mind, I mean, you know, again, we'll have to save this for the dog special. Like, you yeah. are right. Like, he does deserve his own episode of I, uh, you want to call it, I love it here. I don't yeah. know. But he did cause a national incident when he went down and to get got, that fucking yeah, drug That's lord in Mexico. Cooler, mate. He went to Mexico, just brought the law across the border, got the guy, he sent him on his way, he stayed in Mexico, got arrested. And then the US government went to Mexico, like, <laughs> uh, dogs. can you let dog go? Like, we all like dog and that. He's like a TV guy around here. So, like, <laughs> the Mexico was like, oh, all right, I guess you can have dog back. <laughs> How much of a G move is that, mate? Mate, that, that, that is so mental. That is an episode of, like, season two of The Shield. Yeah. That's how mental that is. That's an in, that is literally a plot from The Shield, where Vic Mackey goes to Mexico. Vic Mackey, the ultimate corrupt cop, goes to Mexico to kidnap a drug lord in Mexico and pretend he was in America the yeah. whole time. It's like, that's how mad it is, like... Fucking hell. But anyway, dogs had some problems, right? Uh in in recent times, hasn't he? He's had some problems. Ever because, since we lost uh, Beth, of course. Yeah, well he had he had problems. Yeah, but she kept him. Yeah, him she when, did. She you know she kept the sheets mind. for him. So. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Beth tragically died sad. Uh, I liked Beth. I thought she was good people. Um and uh, obviously, he's gone a bit off the rails uh, since then, as losing a long-term partner would. The thing we're not talking about on this show, but we'll say for the special, is he essentially proposed to, like, a friend yeah. that had moved in with him to help him through the grief on national TV, and oh, she rejected so him immediately. And he said, see, that was the test. It's really... It's one of the worst I things I've you. ever seen on TV. And it's it's what what was the fucking... Moon Angel, what? the name was. No, but what was the guy? What was who sure was young? It was Doctor Phil, Doctor Oz, Oz. and he's another one of these ghoul cunts that just you know traffic in misery. What's that, dog? Your wife just died having a mental breakdown. Come on the show. Come on the show. Come on the show. But anyway, um, he's got remarried. Yeah. Which when's your best sixth life? Mar sixth marriage two years ago? S Something like that. Don't know how I feel about that either. Uh, frankly, but whatever, uh, his life, his choice is 68. How much longer is dog gonna live, right? Um, so he's got remarried, he seems happier, right? But it looks like he's getting another show, Sam. Have so, yeah, I got a second series? I stumbled across this because, like we were talking about earlier, I think Leland is the real star of the show. So I was looking, yeah. I wonder what Leland's doing. Is he got a show? And I stumbled across that dog has actually got a new fucking show, yeah. So it's with like some stream it's not as glamorous as it used yeah, exactly. to be it's on a streaming platform called L well, led what, no it's not it's not led it's called something else oh led by you okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, see, it's, but, yeah it's led else. by a former wme guy it's, but yeah the show is called dog unleashed so i'm sure some of the chat which is brilliant yeah. in many yeah. ways it's the unleashing that's been the problem, <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. argue. How about dog leashed? I, I don't work in PR anymore, but, you know, probably the unleashing's the issue, really. Just a thought. But anyway, he's got a new show coming out called Dog Unleashed. Um, and when, well, has, it, has it even premiered yet? Just the they thing, said it people in the, out the yeah, this, this is from year. a year ago, and yeah. I, I I don't know, it might be somewhere, maybe because it's on a weird site, it's hard to find, it might already be out, I'll have to look into it. Like. Right, but anyway, this was the trailer they put out to get you excited for it. So, uh, three, two, one, whenever you're right. ready. Three, two, one, go. People are losing Loud. faith, and violent criminals are roaming our streets. Crime victims Those are violent criminals underdogs. wrestling in the car park. For violent. such a time as this, America needs a man who can help hunt down the most violent fugitives across the country. When the, the world country. needed him most. It's too late for forgiveness. <laughs> you yeah, fucker, it's yeah, too you're right. Late. The reason I am here in the beautiful state and of And it's the return of Leland as well. Man, Felix Chujoy. Come on out, girl. Now listen to this storyline for the first We need your son to come out. 
Augusta County Sheriff Donald Smith has shown where his loyalty lies. I don't know anything about the politics right now of any of it. The sheriff is loyal to Felix Chujoy, his longtime friend and alleged He's lover. Here, you're going to jail with his me. love for me. Ah. And that's all about your dad trying to games. storm into a sheriff's to house. <laughs> that's a <laughs> sheriff. That's a what sheriff a who is in a relationship like, with a criminal, and he's you hiding him from dog. Down. A sheriff having a gay relationship with a criminal, hiding him in his house, and he's got to go up against dog the bounty and I don't play games. I don't play games. Ever since my Beth gone. Oh, you know gonna, it, oh, mate. Oh, he's, he's fully. I bet he's full now. box gone now because oh. he used to share, send Leland to do the aggro work, mate. Now he's yeah. going. No, it's like I can just picture there's going to be like one side episode where Leland's going to be like, Dad, are you, are you wearing your bulletproof vest? Don't worry about it, son. And he's just like, Oh, oh mate, look at the oh, chat. Sad. Sad, like. Look at the update on the show. It was cancelled before ever aired after the streaming no, service that was slated to broadcast the program alleged that the TV star engaged in unspecified actions that constituted a breach of contract. So he was it, it was, it was, yeah, maybe Dog it was, yeah. unspecified. <laughs> Can't he get a but break? yeah, mate. Remember what I was saying before this, right? The yeah. the the position we're in esports, we got enough money to get dog a bounty in the butt. How much does dog need a show where sixty eight? I could at least do a, a six episode season. Like how much? How much have I got to pay dog? Hang on. So what you're saying is, we have dog the bounty. We hunter, buy the licensing rights. That like, we can't afford that, but we could hire dog to chase down esports orgs that owe people money. Nah, I don't even, no, but the thing is, I don't even want it to do with esports. I just want to do Dog Bounty Hunter, but like steal someone from esports money. Like, <laughs> just go to like oh, a venture capitalist and be like, I'm why? starting this content website for esports. I'm going to need you 10 said mil. It they give me it. 10 mil, and then it's like, one nil. I'm making Dog the Bounty Hunter season 46. You're mad, gun. Return to Leland, home of the king. And I'll just, that'll be my, and then I'll just leave it. But what are they going to do? They gave me the money. It's too late. It's spent now. I, I mean, I still think the better vector is to get him into something. He's going to die if you keep him in the, ga the game. But he's going to die if you keep him out the game, mate. He's, he, he's, you see how his box goes when he's not out there. He can't yeah, but I, I think he'd welcome in, you know, shaking down some pencil necks, you know? Yeah, but he couldn't legally. Give him the money, bruh. Be, yeah, exactly. How could he do it? But he'd just have to stand mate, there. That's never, hap that's never happened in eSports. No one's ever sent a bounty hunter to come and get the money. Because yeah, be they're not on bail. That isn't how it works. You can't send a bounty hunter. That's right. Well, we're just sending him around like he's a bailiff, essentially. Dog the bailiff. You know, that, mate, Dog I'm giving you gold. Hunter. I'm giving you gold. And your desire to get into the bounty hunting business. I, no, I want it on the production, mate. I don't, I don't want the industry. Put it this way, I, I know for a fact, right, if you had the opportunity to go and create <laughs> Leland the Bounty Hunter, <laughs> oh, yeah. right, and I thought he live with say, him and yeah. be his boy, and yeah. the penalty was you never talk to me again. That's what you have to agree to. <laughs> You're gone tomorrow. No, I wouldn't you go and never talk goodbye. to you again. If yeah, it was like you have to quit the show for a few months, right. I'd do it. Mate, I would I, never I, talk I, to you again. I wouldn't deny you your dream. No, I wouldn't do that. Because then Leland's obviously a creep. If Leland's make me not talk to people anymore, then Leland's not the man I thought he was. So no, I wouldn't do it. If Leland's setting creepy rules like Arpa, I'm going to no, be worried. No, it's the network. It's the TV network. <laughs> that They're like Richard Lewis. Is yeah, but that's your point. I'm starting my own network. Not like Leland or his dad. Oh. So there you go. I guess that's the, the episode. Sam and Rich just talk about reality TV. Lifestyle documentaries. <laughs> Sorry. It's going to take me a while to get there. <laughs> um, what, what, I, what I will say is, uh, just to wrap it up, uh, there is some sort of perverse kind of entertainment in seeing the lives of ordinary people. But equally... You know, you don't get people like that woman in 90 Day Fiance thinking that they're all that unless you stick a camera in their face and they play up to it and they start believing that they are more than they actually are. Poor Usman. So, you know, food for thought. But you know what? Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do it. Let's do a I Love It Here special. We'll get it all scripted. We'll get it planned out. You bring dog to the I'll table. To, I'll, I'll bring yeah, I'm something. Have to I love it, all the series again. Like I'm gonna have to go through one through nine all over again. What a treat! Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but that's it. I, I, I had all these. I had a fully scripted show. <laughs> if you can believe it, I'm still so. Yes, we'll just have to do that in a couple of days or something, Sam. Now that you're not. Yeah, a... I saw someone in the chat say, "Oh, it lasts it." I thought this was an intro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, like the old classic two-hour intro. I mean, it was meant to be an intro, but it just went to good places, doesn't it? So when we upload, it'll be I hear hear reality TV edition or whatever. Oh, sorry, lifestyle documentaries. Yeah. You're the one editing it. You can do whatever you want. So we're just gonna wrap the show there. What well, the good news is? Oh, I just also want to say as well, I. I will go. I'll leave it in. But when Sam's ill, right, we have this <laughs> running joke. Where are you? Are you a longer? Are yeah. you a longer? Long and Sam creased me the other day because obviously we know Deficio uh, from <laughs> from League of Legends, and his surname is Linger. So he just went, mate, <laughs> mate. I'm a Martin Deficio longer. Like, he's just to <laughs> emphasize that I was so going to write good. Martin Deficient longer, but I thought oh, I might be man. taking it too far. Like, man, I was absolutely fucking crazy when you dropped that on me. Like. <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, Sam's better now. We will definitely do an I Hate Here again soon. We both say it to ourselves like, we want to do more of this rather than the esports stuff. This is the goal. This is the funny bit. So, hope you enjoyed listening to us ramble about reality TV lifestyle documentaries one final shout out to the sponsors which are on screen in post uh nordvpn of course nordvpn.com slash rls 70 percent off one of the leading vpns in the market that doesn't store data doesn't say what you've been using it for so you know you want to do the naughty on netflix not my business not theirs uh and also as well of course steel series fantastic hardware they've got the new prime range out it's wicked using it right now with the headset and the mouse uh, definitely gets my thumbs up if you want 10 percent off follow the link in the night bot follow the link on the panel type my name with no space richard lewis condensed 10 percent off there you go thanks for tuning in appreciate all the generosity uh love to you all uh that wasn't the news i'm glad it wasn't bye <laughs>